If you would like to see how I created this lovely painting with acrylic paint, crushed glass, and rock and glitter, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So this is like gonna be like a part two video, I guess. I'm doing a canvas art today, and this will be the second one I'm doing with the same colors, but I'm gonna do a different style. I have been commissioned um, by one of my friends. She hired me to make a painting for a good friend of hers who just bought their own home and she wants something to put on her wall. So we're going to be going with a gold, a silver, which only have a little bit of silver, black, and then a mint green. And this green is called Wild Wasabi. And I, before the video is over, I will show you the first painting that I made. I wanna make two so she can have an option. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, the first painting was a 16 by 20. This one is an 18 by 24 because that's all I had available um, at the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and jump right into it, but I will be using some uh, liquid glass tri art. I won't be using any resin or Mod Podge. I like to use this product. I'll be using some crushed glass. I'll be using some, some Dollar Tree rocks and I'll be coloring them mint and green. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. This is the brush I'm going to use, or you could use a sponge brush. So I'm going to be adding my first color, which is black, and I'm just going to put on a decent amount of the black because I don't like when it looks like it's not enough paint. So I'd rather have a little bit more than not enough. Now I'm using a sponge because I really like the way that the sponge gives coverage on the canvas with the black. So this is going to be my first color, and I just want to make nice, smooth, even strokes. So just go ahead and check out how I make sure I cover this whole right side and bring the paint down to the edges so that the white canvas isn't showing. So I'm almost finished adding the black on. I just sped it up just so the video wouldn't be dragged out too long, but you definitely don't want to rush. You can go at your own pace and just make sure that however you want to have the paint on. I try to get all of the paint out of my brush, so I'm just doing like a little, um, a little smoothing method. Now I'm adding the gold color in certain areas because again, I'm using like three colors at the top. So I have that little bit of mint green, I'm gonna use the gold, and then you'll see me go ahead and add some silver as well. And what my intention to do is to kind of blend them with my paintbrush so that you'll see all three of the colors together. So I'm just gonna take my time with that and see how this turns out. Now as I, I go forward to the top on this area, you see the black paint is kind of coming onto the gold. I have no problem with that because this whole top area is gonna be like a blend of different colors anyway. When you do your painting, you have the option of waiting until your first color is dry and then adding your second color, which I usually do, but maybe that part just wasn't dry enough. So it's completely up to you if you don't mind blending the colors on top of each other. It just kind of depends on what look you're going for. Now you see how I have my gold and it's kind of fading into the mint. Now it's fading into the silver and the silver is fading into the gold. And so far I do think I like this. And 
And here I'm just making sure that I'm getting the paint all the way to the edge of the canvas like I did for the other side. And I'm just doing a little more blending um, with my brush here. And if you have too many brush marks, you can always add a little bit more paint. But I'm going to go ahead um, at this point and just kind of do the blending again up the middle so it's not such a harsh line um, down the middle of the two colors. highlights that I have here with the blend of the colors and then just the the plain black here I really like it I'm gonna let this dry then I'll be able to go ahead and add my liquid glass and my crushed glass and mirror and my rocks and my glitter here I'm taking the mint green paint and an old crafting bowl these are Dollar Tree rocks you can purchase and I'm just gonna stir this mint green onto these rocks I'll be using these rocks on the, mental, on the middle of the painting and I'll be adding glitter as well. It's just a cool way to add some texture to your painting. And I've been doing this quite a while and I really like the way it looks. I'm going to be using a product called Tri Art Liquid Glass. Some people use Mod Podge or they use resin. Um, I don't like the resin for this. I haven't done it yet, um, but I've seen it done it's just that the resin, epoxy resin, has that harsh smell. And i just rather not deal with that if I don't have to. And then the mixing of it. This product is a one-step process. It doesn't smell as half as bad um, as the resin. So I'm just going to take my little palette knife and smooth it out. Because down the middle area is where I want to really put the thick chunkiness. So I like to add my rocks first. Because I want that to really get into that... Um, liquid glass and it holds on so good you guys so it's like it's just like a resin so um and you could purchase it from a website called dick blick and i think the bottle i have in this video is probably about ten dollars um it's not that cheap and it's not that expensive i like it so i just don't mind so i like to start off with the rocks i don't have a whole bunch because remember she didn't want a whole lot of mint green just a little bit and I'm using a glove because the rocks are still wet. You have the option of letting your rocks completely dry. Like if you prep your rocks hours beforehand or maybe if you blow dry them, I don't know, or let them sit in the sun. But they're wet, so I'm using a glove here. So you can just kind of just watch me um, dump everything on pretty much. This is my favorite part where I get to add my glitters, my crushed glass, and everything. This is Crushed Glass by Ashlyn. It's $4.99 at um, Michael's. And when I buy this, I try to get about three or four, four or five jars of it because sometimes it's sold out. Now, maybe because I don't want to say it's because people like me who buy multiple, but I use it. So it's not like I'm hoarding it. I actually use it. And that's how I got hip to the rocks. One time I lost my rocks. I mean, I lost my crushed, crushed glass. I couldn't find it or I just couldn't get to it. So I start painting the rocks. So you don't even have to use crushed glass. You could use the very, very small pebble rocks from Dollar Tree. The way you get them to look nice and shiny is you could put a pinch of Mod Podge on them and then you just put glitter on them and they look just as sparkly as the crushed glass. So you don't even have to use um, the crushed glass if you don't want to. But the crushed glass, it comes in this fine one but they also have a chunkier one and I really like both. Or you could crush up your own glass. I actually have a video um, showing how to do that. I crushed up my own before and I painted it with some alcohol inks. Or you could paint it with um, paint too. And it really gives a cool look to it. I, I really like it. But it was kind of a little bit of work. Um, crushing up all that glass. 
and the consistency of it, it was just kind of, it wasn't as small as I wanted it to be, but it's possible. You just got to really be careful when you're doing it. Wear goggles and some thick gloves. Okay, so I'm going in with a thicker glitter. I wouldn't call this a chunky one because I have chunkier glitter. It's just not a fine glitter. I like to use a nice chunky glitter or a nice thick glitter like this one because the sparkle is just different. Um, it's different than a fine glitter. And then after this, I'll go over it with another glitter. But you don't have to go over it with so many different glitters. It's, it's definitely your preference. If you only have one type of glitter, then you know, just roll with that. Okay, so this is a fine glitter, not an extra fine, but it's like the step behind it or above it, I guess. Um, and it's holographic. I got this big one from Paper Mart, probably about 12 bucks, 10 bucks. Their shipping is not free. So um, they got some really nice glitters, but the shipping is usually about 14 or $15. I haven't had to buy any in a while because look how big this is. That's what I like about glitter. Glitter goes a long way. So I really appreciate glitter. So um, yeah, I'm topping it off with this glitter. This is the last one because it gets in between um, everything. That's why I use the smaller glitter last. It's dry until tomorrow, and then I'll go ahead and brush it off with my soft brush, and then we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so it has been 24 hours, and this painting has sat. I'm gonna go ahead and take my fluffy brush. Okay, so we're gonna brush this off. Now right here, I know it looks like I've already been brushing for a while, but no. As soon as I picked it up, everything just fell off while I wasn't recording. But I'm just brushing and brushing and brushing in every direction to get everything off so there's no flyaways or fall off. And I'm going to reveal it to you now. Okay, you guys, here we go. This is the reveal of the painting. And I love those little swivels there. That's why I just kind of throw that liquid glass bottle back and forth and just flick my wrist. I love it. I love this painting and again I told you guys I made two paintings because I wasn't exactly sure what style or which one my friend would like and after this I'm gonna show you the second painting just in case you didn't see the first video of the other one I showed this one in the end but I think it's very nice I appreciate how the colors blended together at the top I love that gold and that mint green is very pretty um, I don't know if you can like really see the detail with the mint green in the middle I didn't want it to stand out too much so I think it blended in there pretty well but um, these are like really fun and easy to make and it is just such an honor for someone to like it and to want to purchase one for someone it just makes me feel so good you guys and with the holidays coming up this is something that you can definitely make for someone as a gift or of course you can make one for your home you can make one for just about every room in your home um, if you're redoing your basement, you might even could throw one of these in your kitchen. Of course, your living room, your dining room, um, your bathroom. So far, I have one in my bathroom. I made one for my downstairs bathroom. I haven't uh, posted that video yet. I have one in my living room. And just about everybody I know, I made them one just because I like to make them. But in this next um, slide here, I'm going to show you the other painting with the same exact colors. It's just laid out differently. Now check this one out, you guys. This is like really kind of just super abstract. And she chose that one over the one I did in this video. So you guys, let me know which one you guys like the best. I was kind of surprised when she chose this one. I was extremely happy too, because I'm like, oh, okay. This, uh, this is my first time painting with a palette knife and it turned out really cute. So again, this is the one that she uh, didn't choose, but this one is very pretty as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and receive some cool um, ideas. Um, and maybe you'll make one, you guys, for yourself or someone else, hopefully. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Share it on Facebook if possible. 
Hello to my new subscribers. Hello to all my subscribers. And make sure that you do hit that notification bell so that you'll be aware when I upload a video. I try to upload at least two or three videos a week or more. I'm just trying to stay, you know, more consistent. So, um, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Be sure to check out our website, crtacticaldefense.com. We sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and more. My code for my subscribers is VIBES, V-I-B-E-S, for a discount. Be sure to check out our website, myroyalradiance.com. We sell lip gloss, hand sanitizer, shoe charms, and more. Royal Beauty 10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. I have a whole playlist dedicated to these canvas art paintings. Be sure to check that out as well. Thanks again. Bye-bye.